Hi guys, my name is Puspender Saini. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can integrate Firebase in your Android application with the help of Kotlin language. Okay, it's very simple. It's not that much difficult. Just watch the complete video with the concentration. Thank you. So this is my fresh project. In this project, I am going to uh, use Firebase. Okay, and I will integrate first of all analytics of uh, Firebase. Okay, so on Google, just type firebase and header here you will get the official website so just click on first link here you will get firebase okay so from here what you have to do just click on get started yeah fine now here you will see a plus button okay if it is a new project for firebase then you need to click on add project if it is already existing then you can open project from click on the project okay so just in my case this is a new fresh firebase project so i will create from here here i'll give the my project name firebase tutorial okay so click on continue click on continue finally and here you can choose the analytics of your firebase on which account you want to transfer the analytics if you have already existing analytics account then you can choose it from here otherwise you can create new account okay then after click on create a new account then you have to follow the complete new procedure okay in my case i am choosing existing account as web stack click on create project it will create new project for you okay so finally you have to integrate this project in your android application okay and this is really a very simple both asana and after finishing this project it will give us some steps itself click on continue so this is fresh project okay now what you have to do if it is android yes it is android so click on android application from here you have to give the package name of your application and what is package name click on gradle script expand it and this is module app app based okay so this is your package name copy this and paste it here here you can give your application name and this is optional but in my case i will give tutorial okay now here you can give sha1 key what is sha but this is optional so you don't need to be worried about it it is mandatory or not but i will tell you what is sha key and how you can get it in the right hand side you need to click on gradle from gradle expand and from here expand task from here expand android and finally just double click on sign in report here you will get sha1 key after double click on that okay so copy this one now open your project and paste it here now click on register app okay now it will give you one json file okay so you need to click on download json file fine i did download that now what you have to do you have to open your application first of all i'll open my application which is on desktop this is and inside the app folder you have to paste that json file okay from J, uh, download folder so this is my download folder wait so here so this is my json file okay so here i will drag and drop here now sort it name fine now i have json file in my project and after that just choose f from here the compass now back to your project click on next now here it's giving me some suggestion okay first suggestion is you have to use google play services in our application okay so copy and open your project and open project based bundle gradle okay now remove this unnecessary code and paste it new line fine now you can click on sync now it will take some time okay after processing come back to your project on browser and after that add this google inside the repository inside the same file okay so copy and add here this is already here so we don't need to be add again so let it be like that 
now what is the next step next step we have to use uh, Google services plugin so just click on copy from here open your module app this one copy at the very top of the file and click on sync now finally you can implement analytics library okay this is just for example and here you can implement fine and it's indicating us new version so new version is 17.4.1 so we will change it 17.4.1 and same for this 4.13 is newest version so we will change this and sync now after syncing it will take some time again and once it's completed now I'll choose my device and I'll click on run application and here you can click on next so it will keep rounding rounding until your application will not install in your phone okay so keep your eyes here so guys application has been installed in my phone now I'll see back and it is still processing maximum it will take five minutes okay after running your application on your phone so guys here you can see congratulations you have successfully added firebase to your application so click on continue after that click on project project settings so here it is your application whatever you have added okay so, so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you clear about how you can integrate firebase in your application okay it's very simple so just enjoy in next video i will tell you how you can integrate push notification in your android application with kotlin language thank you so much have a great time bye bye before leaving this tutorial i would like to tell you please subscribe to my youtube channel because on my youtube channel you will find lots of video which is related to uh, kotlin development in android application okay thank you so much have a great time bye bye